Hi, this is Shannon Seaver. Today we are looking at section 6.5, linear inequalities in one variable. This is part one of the section. On our agenda for today, we're going to graph subsets of real numbers on a number line, and we're going to solve linear inequalities. <clears throat> so the first thing I want you to look at is this chart. And this is a good overview of all the different inequalities you may be dealing with. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is that when you have a less than sign or a greater than sign, you're going to have an open circle on your number line. And then if you have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you're going to have a closed circle. And the reason is, if you think about it, this includes an equal, that line underneath. And when it does, that means that number is included in um, the solution. Here it doesn't have an equal, so the number, it starts from that number, but that number is not included. So like this one, x such that x is less than a, that means everything on the number line less than a is what x could be, but a itself is not. And it's hard to see from this, but that is an open circle. Okay, and the next one is x such that x is less than or equal to a, and so notice that that is a closed circle. So this is a slight difference. This is not a very good picture, but you can kind of get an idea there. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out to you is I know that some of you have been taught this way where the, the pointy end of the inequality is pointing to the smaller and the open end is pointing to the larger. And a lot of people have thought of this as like an alligator mouth that it's eating the larger number. So that's one way to remember it. So if x is smaller than a, it's going to be going to the left on the number line because these are the negative end of the number line. If it's larger than a, it would be going to the right. So here, x is larger than b or x is um, greater than b. So starting at b and it's going to the right. But notice it's not including b, so it's an open circle. x is greater than or equal to b, it includes b here. And then sometimes you're going to have some, uh, something like this where it's between two numbers. And you've got to be careful with these because if you have something where you have two different types of inequalities like this, you have a less than or equal to, one of them is going to be solid and the other one's going to be open. So I want to graph these following inequalities. <clears throat> and usually if you're just graphing by hand, you can just set the one number on the graph somewhere. So here we have 3. So I'm going to label it. And labeling is so important. If you don't label it, it could mean anything. And that will be important for you to remember on the test because if it's not labeled, I will take points off. So x is larger than 3 or greater than 3. So if that's the case, it could be 4, it could be 5, it could be 6. And notice that it doesn't have a line underneath it, so that will be an open circle and it will be going this direction, okay? On this one, we have x is less than negative 2. So negative 2, and it notice it has a, a line underneath it, so that means it's going to be a, a closed dot. And since x is smaller than negative 2, that means it could be a negative 3, it could be negative 4, so we'll go this direction. Here's one of those ones where you have x being between two different numbers. So I'm going to put those numbers on here. And it has both of them being open dots. So x will be in between those two. Then sometimes what we have is an inequality that needs to be solved. So you solve these just like as if it was an equal sign. There's one slight difference, and I'll tell you about that in a minute, but let's just look at this one and solve it. If I want to get x by itself, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So this will be 20, is uh, and then 5x is less than 20. And then I can divide 5. So my answer on this one is x is less than or equal to 4. And so the other part of this is to graph the solution set once you have the answer. So make sure that you graph it. This will be 4, and it's a solid dot, and x is less than 4. On this one, we have 1 fourth x is less than 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. 
So this will be x is less than 8. Graphing that one, we have 8. It's going to be an open circle, and x is going in that direction. Now, here's the big difference, and this is the other two didn't show this, but we have a negative here. And a negative changes everything with inequality. When you divide or multiply by a negative, and you should write this down, divide or multiply by a negative, then it reverses the direction of the inequality. So watch, if I divide this by a negative, I have negative 3 over here and x over here, but the inequality switches direction. So that is important for you to remember. Uh, many, many people forget doing that. So now I'm going to graph this. It's an open dot and it's going to the right. Okay, number four. Number four is one of those fraction ones and we want to get rid of the entire fraction. So we're looking at a com finding a common denominator and here we have eight. So remember on this, we're going to multiply each numerator by an 8 so that we can get rid of those fractions. So we have 8w over 4 minus 24 over 2 is less than or equal to 8w over 2 plus 8. Now we can simplify this because 8w is divisible by 4 and that makes it 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. This is 4w plus 8. Now I need to get all my w's to one side of the inequality. So I'm going to subtract 2w. I'm going to put my answer up here because I'm running out of room. <clears throat> so this cancels out. I'll have negative 12 is less than or equal to 2w plus 8. Now I'll subtract the 8. And I have negative 20 is less than or equal to 2w. And now I could divide by 2. So I have negative 10 is less than or equal to w. So I'm going to graph this. Here's negative 10. And it's a closed dot. And since w is larger than negative 10, we're going to go to the right. Now, these are a little bit harder. Um, I want you to try this one on your own, number five, and stop the video and come back and check your answer. Okay, so on this one, I got uh, negative six is less than x, so it's an open dot at negative six, and it's going to the right. On number six, we need to distribute first. So once you distribute, then you can put together like terms. Why don't you stop the video here and see if you can do this one on your own and check back in a minute. Okay, so once you distribute this, you get 2x minus 6 minus 1 is less than or equal to 3x plus 6 minus 14. If you combine like terms on both sides, so we have 2x minus 7 and then 3x minus 8 and then get your variables to one side, you should end up with 1 is less than x. So you have a solid dot at 1, and it's going to the right. So that is the end of that lesson. And if you have any questions, please bring them to class tomorrow.